This video shows how to use the additional RS-45 based outputs on the Pixlite controller. Now on the Pixlite 16, there are four, one, two, three, four outputs available for RS-45. Now on the Pixlite 4, there is one RS-45 output. Now what's unique about the Pixlite controller is normally with other controllers, what they do, if you want RS-45 output, you'll actually have to take one of your pixel outputs and dedicate it to an RS-45 output or a cluster of outputs to that. So that means that you can't run the pixels and the RS-45. Now, why would you want RS-45 as opposed to SPI? So SPI is designed straight to pixels. So you put your pixels, just like we have here, directly into the controller outputs and they're powered and they receive their data from there. These four outputs are RS-45 based. Now this is a older technology. This is the typical normal DMX that you're associating with with any devices made from the early 90s up until recently till we've started moving more and more to E131. So any of those controllers like the three channel, 27 channel, any controller that requires standard DMX, it's not a pixel controller, you might have things like floodlights or you might have moving heads or fog machines or those types of things those almost always run off of standard RS-45 based DMX or also known as E111 alright so they are set up in jacks and you can see the settings right here uh, in the document for uh, the Pixlite manual and you can see that it's pin 1 and 2 is the data and this is all listed on our website you can see the individual jacks 1 through 4 now those correspond with and we'll do ahead and do our uh, search from within the uh, lights assistant double click on our controller bring up the control tab and you'll notice you have out 1 2 3 and 4 so because you're not having to split these outputs with your uh, pixel con pixel outputs, your SPI based outputs, that means that you can also use these together at the same time. All you have to do is simply specify the universe. Now you of course want to do this uh, usually, I can see there might be a unique case where you'd want to overlay them, but in most cases let's say that we're using uh, here, you can see that we have 50 nodes per string and you can see that we have five universes if we used 50 nodes or 50 pixels per, per string and connected them all 16 outputs that means that we would likely go ahead and start here at output 6 maybe 7 8 and 9 so that means you're going to get on output 1 right here on universe 6 when you configure it in your sequencing software see our other videos for how to do that you're going to get channels 1 through 512 and then on the next one this is output number two and that will be universe uh, number seven which is 100 and, uh, 512 channels now you'll also notice that this first output has a removable connector and that is because you may have devices that don't use cat5 now in the holiday lighting world we almost always use cat5 because it's so cheap and accessible but if you have traditional cable uh, that has uh, XLR 3 pin or XLR 5 pin you can just pull this right off take one of your cables screw it in and attach it right to the board so you don't have to build a cat 5 to XLR adapter cable which you could of course do for the others so that's how easy it is to configure additional RS 45 based universes with the unique Pixlite controller